So I was on North Cottesley Primary Falling Booth for the Greens for mm-hmm. 11 hours. Um, Julie Bishop walked past. She's so tiny. She was black, black pants, kind of harem cut, very strange. Um, white top. You had helmet hair? Helmet hair. It's amazing. And it actually makes her look like. No. Whenever I see her, I just want to reach out and just bang on it. She's like a little liberal lady doll. She's amazing. Uh, Like a little chess piece, like a fat chess piece. She was beautiful. Um, But then she went over to the liberal uh, people to get a photo. And um, all the liberal ladies are in white linen pants, all of them without exception. (laughs) And when it came to liberal voters, these three ladies came in probably about 60, one after the other white crisp linen shirts with um, kind of um, beautiful scarves Mm -hmm. run under the collar and then tight, one after the other, like a uniform. It was hilarious. Um, And I photobombed Julie Bishop's photo with the Liberal ladies in white linen by stuffing my face with my vegetarian quiche and jumping up and down behind it. (laughs) (laughs) I'm sorry. It's very rude. Um, No, but the Liberal ladies in linen, Mm -hmm. my favourite people, um... Some of them were uh, rebelling against the liberal husbands that walked past me and looked at me like I was a piece of uh, talking dog excrement. <laughs> um, and what they did is they, as they walked past, they let the husband go forward and they came to me and they took my how to vote card and they looked me in the eye. <laughs> and then they went and voted and then they came back. And it was what they did when they came back that I really liked because they gave me my how to vote card because we're greenies and we like to be. <laughs> recycle them and then they looked me straight in the eye again and they said good luck um and i think when i heard then that at that polling booth in the liberal heartland we got 22 percent of the primary vote Mm -hmm. and that's not even that's not even as many ladies as looked me in the eye and said good luck i think something's happening and it's the liberal ladies that are Mm -hmm. deserting the ship i think they know they know shit politics when they say is possibly not <laughs> and should not be ordained as such. I think, I think you might be right. And I think the little chess piece needs to understand that she sits at the top of a pile and if she wants to get the Liberal ladies back on board, she needs to bring the man and the men back to heel with them. No, no, like, seriously, she's a tough little woman and I think the desk there could be used for other purposes. Other than keeping the liberal ladies in their white the, linen, the death stare could be used for good. <laughs> for good, I absolutely death think stare. so. I've just got I this think. mental image of Julie Bishop's helmet head, kind of like Darth Vader style. Yes, with the death stare. But I actually like the death stare because I think if she got up there, girls and misogynists suddenly <laughs> cried out and were silent. <laughs> Can you? She would keep them in line so well. And I think that's what the desk says about. I think the fact that she had to get through that many Liberal men to be Foreign Minister for Australia, yeah. shit job that she's doing over as it is. Yeah, I think it's interesting. I think I think the desk there could be good. And then, you know, I just, you know, I like Liberal ladies and linen. It's like just Liberal ladies and linen. Oh, let's, this goes out to all you Liberal ladies in your white linen pants. <laughs> This goes out to Julie Bishop with your death stare glance. We all this is it all to the liberal ladies, hiding from their husbands, acting quite of shady, giving Claire Bowen a smile and giving her a luck share for a Jump shit, do you wish 
an exception for you, uh, Julie, but only if you change the colours you wear. Green linen, just as good as white. 